It's needless to say that we as men have our own set of unique skills that separate us from our friends and our peers. I for one would consider my capability to turn any pieces of clothing in my wardrobe into a functioning and stylish outfit to be a skill that I have practiced, learned, and mastered. Whatever your unique skill is in this world, I would always encourage you to practice it and become a master in your own domain. However, there are a few sets of skills that I believe that every single man should know by the time that he's the age of 20, and I'm gonna be giving them all to you just to make sure that you have all of these checked off your list coming up. Welcome to HP Fashion, where we give you tips and advice for men's fashion, grooming, and lifestyle. I'm your host, Zach Fobbs. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Also, don't forget to hit that notifications bell so that you're notified when more great content is dropped just like this. These particular set of skills aren't really the type of skills to help you save your kidnapped daughter from across the seas from a European terrorist organization. However, they are skills that I believe every single man should know by the time he's the age of 20. And I feel like it's something that we all should know just to have that simple basic function as a man. Starting with number one, and that's how to change a tire. I know that maybe not a lot of us has been in this situation, but I have very recently, and I'll tell you guys, there is nothing that feels more masculine, more accomplishing as a guy, knowing that you, when it comes time for you to actually get down on your knees, get dirty, get in the dirt, and actually do what you need to do, and that's to change your girlfriend's tire when she has a blowout, it feels absolutely amazing. It is not hard to do, gentlemen. I'm not gonna give you a tutorial on how to do it, because that's gonna take way too long, it's completely out of HP Fashion's niche, but at the same time, it's something that you can simply learn. Just go to any guy that has ever changed a tire and see if he has maybe a good 30 minutes to teach you how to basically do it, or head over to YouTube. There are tons of videos on how to do it. It's something that I believe that every single guy should know because there's nothing that's so, how you wanna say, such a, so much of a kick in the nars when you have to sit with your girlfriend and have to wait for roadside assistance to help you with a blown tire. I never had to deal with that. I've heard guys who have had to deal with that, and uh, from what I from what I've heard, it's, it's not a it's not a great feeling. So learn how to change a tire. If changing a tire is not enough to impress your girlfriend, I know that number two definitely will, and that's knowing how to cook. There's just something that is so masculine and attractive in the eyes of women that when they see a man that they're with who knows how to throw down in the kitchen, I know I might most be mostly talking about myself here because. My girlfriend in particular, she loves it when I'm in the kitchen, I'm always cooking for us. And I've heard a lot of stories, you know, girls prefer their men who just know how to cook. And I believe it's something that every single guy should know, at least by the time that he gets out of his parents' house, to at least know how to cook a few functioning meals for yourself, just to prove the fact to yourself that you can take care of yourself as a man. And it has a lot of benefits to it. One being that we already went over this, your girlfriend's gonna find you a lot more attractive, and number two, if you're trying to lose weight or you're trying to get yourself you know, in a certain diet, if you had that control in your overall diet, you're not relying on mom anymore or you're not trying to go out every night and get McDonald's, you have that control to get yourself a nice healthy diet. So consider taking a few classes, look up some videos on YouTube on how to make yourself a good meal and get to cooking guys. Number three. This is sort of a two in one sort of tip, but I feel like it's really important. You should, of course, know how to shave. It's just something that is completely unacceptable when you're you know, trying to be in a position where you're going to a lot of job interviews, you're trying to make a lot of good first impressions, and you're just looking like a hot mess. And you just have to rely on your barber, being that he may be a good barber, you don't want to rely on him you know, every two weeks to try to go fix you up. I believe every single guy should take that time to learn how to shave, whether it be from your pops or from the internet, it should be something that you should have down by the time that you move out. And with that said, a proper grooming routine 
daily washing your face, moisturizing. It should be something that every single man should know by the time that he is 20. It is a, I'd consider it a skill because not a lot of guys consider that to be something very masculine or something they necessarily need to do. But trust me, if you wanna be looking as handsome as you are right now by the time that you're 40, you wanna take that initiative and to try to take care of yourself a lot, a lot better than you're doing now. Speaking of good first impressions, number four, have a good handshake. There is nothing that is uh, more pathetic, in my humble opinion, than when I, you know, shake a guy's hand for the first time and he is giving me a limp fish. You guys know what this is. He's completely dead with the handshake. It seems like he's uninterested or feel like he can't really carry his own, you know, his position as a man. And, you know, you just kind of feel a little sorry for him. And I just believe that every single guy should have a firm handshake to himself because for number one, it sort of sets that, it asserts your dominance over your own life. It shows the other guy that you're trying to communicate with that, hey, I have my stuff together. I know who I am as a man and as a person and you have nothing to worry about when it comes my way. Especially when you're trying to meet your boss, you know, you, you shake his hand, it, self, it sends off that subliminal message that you are strong, you're dependable and you are reliable. Number five, now, let me ask you a question. Have you ever met one of those guys who seem like they can BS their way out of any negative situation just by their words alone? Or they feel like they can, you know, just get anyone to do anything that they need or want them to do just by simply communicating with them and shooting them uh, an idea just off of their verbal communication? This is something that I would consider a skill that every single guy should master, and that's verbal finesse. A perfect example of one guy I know who can BS his way out of any situation Situation, even though it might not make sense when you you know finally think about it or it does make sense it's just, it might take you a while to figure that out and that's my little cousin Nick he is exactly one year younger than me and he can finesse his way out of any situation whether it being accepting a complete butt whooping from our parents as kids to a situation that is a little more detrimental as an adult which I completely envy him for now being that that's a, I use that as motivation to help my finesse and throughout the whole throughout the whole situations in my life I believe it's something that I think all men should aspire to do and it's very simple how you can hone this skill you know you know broaden your horizons you know read a lot more books you, you know go out more interact with more people you know on a daily basis improve on your small talking skills and over time you will become the you know the finesse god that i know all men have that potential to be now that i want you to become like manipulators or you know crooked men or anything like that but it's just something I believe that if you're in a tight spot or you feel like you've had to kind of talk your way out of a situation, I wanna make sure that you're well prepared. Which does bring me to my final tip, number six, and that's stand your ground. I, as a kid, was a pushover. I let people walk, just walk all over me. I have them take advantage of my kindness and my incapability just to say no in certain, certain situations, which is a skill that I have honed in for myself as an adult and I've learned to say no to situations I feel like I don't have to put myself in or have to have others involve me in nor do I feel like I can I can actually you know stand my ground on some decisions whether it be uh, an argument with my girlfriend or whether it be something that my boss wants me to do that I know that's not right now I don't want you guys to get fired or put yourself in any detrimenting trouble but at the same time, I wanna make sure that you're not being walked all over on. You're not being a pushover. And it's all about knowing who you are as a man and having that confidence to just simply say no. And if that person who's trying to get you to do something or feel like that person who's walking all over you or giving you crap for just no apparent reason, it had, they have any sort of decency in them when they say that you're serious that you are going to stand your ground that you're gonna you're not gonna budge at whatever direction they want you to go in they will simply drop it and leave it alone. So the question for today, what are some skills that I missed today, guys, and you wish you saw in this video? Let me know in the comment section below and I'll be in communication with you guys soon after I drop this video. And hopefully that if you guys feel like I need to make a part two, let me know and I'll do that. But if you like this video and you learned something from it, don't forget to drop a like down below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and help us build the HB community. Our goal is to get to 300 subscribers by the end of the month. And I've seen that we have had some steady growth over the last few days, which I am absolutely proud of. So welcome if you're new. Thank you so much for tuning in, guys. 
I'll see you next time.